Oh, that was Grace on the phone. What did I do to deserve two brothers like Robbie and Freddie? Why? What's happened? Well, they were in a scrap about Lex yesterday and Freddie ended up getting arrested. Yeah, you know, I feel like this family is falling apart right in front of me. Mm. Things aren't exactly great right now. But, like we said yesterday, as long as you keep talking about how you're feeling, you'll be OK. Mm. Morning. I've got an extra shift, so I'll see you later. OK, love. Bye. I guess I'd hate me too if I was her. She doesn't hate you. <laughs> She's a teenage girl going through more than anyone should ever have to. But could you do me a favour? Yeah, of course. Well, Mercedes got this, like, cancer hamper thing off her family before she started the chemo. No, yeah, I've heard about those. Yeah, well, JJ starts his treatment today, so I was going to do one for him, but I've got a job to the airport, so... Would you be able to pick up some silk pillows? Oh, babe, I've got school. Maybe in your lunchtime? It's not that you can't do it, you don't want to do it. I just think with everything that's going on with Frankie, it's not a good idea for her to see me helping him. Oh, sorry, shouldn't have asked. <laughs> see you later. Oh, oh. Dan! Hey! You know, I've been thinking about you all morning. How are you doing? I'm sorry, Nancy. You know what? I'm so in my own head with my own problems. I keep forgetting to ask how you lot are coping. I just feel so torn. I can't bring myself to help JJ, but then I feel so bad and unsupportive when Darren's asking me for help. Well, if you want to help, it's because you love Darren, not JJ. And Darren's the one who's asking you. Wouldn't that set a bad example? Well, I think you'd be supporting your husband when he's in an impossibly difficult situation. Don't worry, Lexi, Daddy's... Better get back to these kids. Oh, being a parent doesn't stop, does it? Nope. Do you know what, Nancy? It's been so nice catching up. I've hardly seen anyone apart from Marie, who's been a star and a rock, by the way. And I think that the divorce is starting to finally feel real now that more people know about it, so... Well, it's going to take a bit of time. I don't know. Anyway, it's been lovely to see you. <laughs> hey. Hey, Dan. So, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. It's all right, darling. Listen, we'll catch up soon, yeah? Yeah, yes. Thanks, love. See you in a bit. Right. Yeah, I can't believe Tony didn't say anything to me. What kind of mate am I? <laughs> We've had a lot on. <clears throat> say that again. Oh, and on that note, now I'm sorry for asking you to help out with JJ earlier. It wasn't fair on you. I, I know where you stand. Actually, I... Bananas, coconut water, and those minty sweets to help with his nausea. And I picked up that football magazine he likes too. Let's see, thank you. Just to be clear, I didn't do this for JJ, I did it for you. Hmm. My feelings about him have not changed, but I don't want you to have to do everything on your own. Hmm. I mean, you are my husband, and my best friend. Yeah. And I do love you. Come here, I love you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. What's he doing there? Uh, Lexi had a seizure. Is she okay? No, thanks to Robbie. Uh, yeah, they've run some tests on her, so they're gonna discharge her. Yeah, well, it's not nice having your kid in hospital, is it? <laughs> How is JJ? Oh, he starts his treatment today, so. I'm Frankie. I wouldn't know. She hates me now, I'm supporting JJ through this, and she won't talk to me. If JJ was my son, I'm not sure I could do what you've been doing. Yeah, me neither. Hey, where's Lexi? Oh, finally you've arrived. How is she? Yeah, she's all right. But all this is down to you. Me? Yeah. If you hadn't chucked her other pills in the river, none of this would have happened. Right, don't try and pin this on me. I did that because I care about it. Well, and I don't. Freddie, the only reason Lexi's got epilepsy is because of your negligence. You left them kids on their own for hours. Now, this is all a bit stressy, but we're supposed to be brothers, right? Times like this, you pull together. You two going at each other isn't going to help Lexi, is it? He's right. Right, we can go now. I'm here. I'm not leaving until she's discharged. Why? She ain't going home with you, is she? In case you forgot, I've got temporary custody of her. Yeah, babe, come on. Unless you want another little visit from the police, I suggest you stay as far away from Lexi as possible. Do you hear me? Robbie, wind it in, will you? 